Don't you know that empathy is a wonderful kind of experience? That when you empathize with someone, you are actually undergoing a very intimate and personal connection with the other, directly knowing his or her experiences. According to Edith Stein, who was an expert in phenomenology, empathy is sui generis, which literally means a class by itself. She arrives in this conclusion through an exploration of the primordiality and the non-primordiality of empathy. First off, let's explore the primordiality of empathy. For Edith Stein, the empathic act itself is a direct perception of an object that is here and now. Meaning to say, the experience of another is directly given to you without any mediation. You can perceive someone's sadness, for example, without analytically thinking about the experience. You can directly know how someone is feeling just by looking at him or her. The presentness of empathy makes empathy a primordial act. But empathy is also the character of non-primordiality. Non-primordiality means that the experience does not come from the primary subject. This is evident in the experience of empathy itself. For example, when your friend tells you her problems, what you understand are precisely her own emotions and problems. So the experience is the other's, not yours. Everything you understand is the other's own experiences. This distinctness of the understood experience is what makes empathy non-primordial. This twofold character of empathy presents empathy as a sui generis experience. A sui generis act means a unique act, so unique that it has to be studied in its own right or class. Empathy simply is a direct perception of another's experience, and it is only through empathy that you understand the feelings of the other. So when you empathize with someone, you are actually gaining his or her perspectives in life. It's not an illusion, but a true connection. Empathy is a unique experience of the other's experience. It might be a common term in today's culture, sometimes confused with sympathy. But I'm sure that its analysis has a lot of implications for our day-to-day -day experience with other people and ourselves.